Look how they protecting them and they ready to arrest you. And we chilling. Them motherfuckers over there with hate messages. We over here trying to party, but they, put, they, put, they patrolling us, but they protecting them. Be very clear, I want you to watch for yourself. They are, put, they are protecting them, but they are patrolling us. I'll show you. Say fuck the cops. Fuck the cops. Fuck 12. Fuck 12. Fuck the cops. That feels good, huh? I love when I see a cop and I'm like, fuck you. I don't feel like, I don't feel the anti-police sentiments in this space. I feel like folks are really, you know, gung-ho about fighting the white supremacists, gung-ho about fighting the Nazis, but cops and the KKK go hand in hand. As Nene said, they're over there protected. They got, last year they spent over $2 million to protect three people at the White House. Boo. Two, over two million. You know how many people could get housed with that money? You know how much food we can eat? How much pot, all these potholes in DC can be fixed with that two million dollars that Bowser designated to some protect white supremacists? Um, so my name is Nena. Uh, I use she and they pronouns. I'm with the um, Black Youth Project 100, also known, woo -woo, also known as BYP 100. Uh, we're a national organization of black organizers throughout the country, ages 18 and 35. Uh, we are clear that we're abolitionists, so we don't believe in prisons, police, jails, detention centers, anything that the state tries to uh, control us and patrol us. Um, we know that the legacy of policing comes out of black folks trying to run for their freedom. Right? So whenever black folks have tried to exercise freedom, the state has incorporated police or any type of uh, laws um, or measures to, to control our movement. And we say, fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Um, we're also all forms of anti-oppression. So as, Doc, as uh, Delante, Pastor Delante Gosson said, we are anti-transphobia. No, we are against transphobia. We are anti-queerphobia. We are uh, anti all forms of oppression, including capitalism. Um, I'm just really hot out here. I'm really upset because we had to walk 20 minutes in a circle because these fucking cops was protecting these fucking white people. Um, so I like to do call and response. So that means you respond, you, you repeat what I say. So we believe, we believe, we believe, we believe. in a world. Where black folks are loved, are protected, are free, are liberated, are joyful, are dancing, are shaking, are twerking. Where pleasure is centered, where pleasure is centered, we believe in a world without police. And prisons. and prisons, without police, without police. And, prisons. and prisons. We believe, we believe. In, a in a world where black women, where black, where black. gender non-conforming folks, non folks, where black, where black. gender non-binary folks, non where black, where black. Undocumented, folks. undocumented folks, where black folks around the world are free from U.S. imperialism, are free from U.S. military, are free from U.S. police. This poem is called A Dying City. I don't even recognize D.C. And I was born and raised there. Go-go music bumping through my ears, new balance on my feet, mumbo sauce on everything I eat, pickled eggs and seeds, big bursts of icy to quench my thirst, peanut chews and fruities from the corner store. Mary's was your neighborhood food store. Mayors used to actually care about the D.C. community. Mary and Barry filled the city with opportunities, youth programs and orgs to keep the youth out of the street wars. S.Y.P. every summer until you 24. But D.C. ain't D.C. anymore. D.C. is dying. 
And I'm not only talking about the thousands we've lost to gun violence, I'm talking about the gentrifying that's turning everything we've ever known into an overpriced condo. I'm talking about how a white bigot can get a black business that's been playing go-go for over 20 years to turn the music down because it was too loud. I'm talking about how the new white residents feel so entitled to our space that they allow their dogs to shit on how a sacred place. I'm talking about how they raise the rent on black families that have been here for years just to move in some rich motherfucker that's not even from here. I'm talking about how they legalize marijuana before they legalize being black so marijuana laws are still and only heavily enforced on blacks. I'm talking about how D.C. was once over 70 percent black and the only thing the government gave us was crap. I'm talking about how we have a black woman as a mayor that's a traitor because if she spent as much time on gun violence as she spent on gentrifying, maybe one had so many black babies die. Fuck the mayor, fuck the president, fuck the whole government that resides in my city but has turned a blind eye to my city until they were able to capitalize off my city. Take this message from a real D.C. resident. Bowser ain't our mayor and Trump ain't our president. This is our city, chocolate city, but our city is dying. If we keep bullshitting or unifying and taking back our streets, chocolate city will just be history. We are the GOP man, Black lives matter, truth.